guys, Jim Archeco here of Archeco Homes team. Today I'm going to show you how to put a bubble cover on an existing outlet on a house. Uh, this is very important because it keeps water out of it and seals it and has a proper cover on it for the exterior. This right here is a waterproof GFI and tamper resistant. It has a little TR on it and a WR on it meaning that it's water resistant and tamper resistant and it is a GFI with a test button and a reset button to protect you when you're using any kind of equipment outside and there might be water involved it will stop you from getting you know electrocuted basically uh, if it senses any water it'll trip and it'll cut the power off to it so this outlet is already installed this waterproof well, water resistant, tamper resistant GFI. And now, instead of having a regular cover on it, like one of these old school covers that allow water to get in, we're gonna put a waterproof cover on. Now, they come with a square cutout for a GFI, but you also get different parts that you can put on them to turn them into a standard outlet that might be GFI'd from something else. You can put them, you can put little pieces on that turn them into a switch for like if you had a, a pool pump or an outside switch that you had to switch on and off. So they're pretty universal. In this case, we don't have to do anything because we have square GFI here and it's already set up for that. Now, sometimes they're keyed and you can slip them over and click them in. In our case, we're not going to be able to do that. So this is a real easy way to do it. They come with their own screws. So you're going to pull the screws out of your outlet that are being held into the box. You're gonna take these two screws and you're gonna use these. It just takes a Phillips head screwdriver. Basically it has a rubber gasket here, foam gasket. We're gonna put this right over the GFI and then we're gonna line it up. We're gonna get these screws in the holes here and it's gonna go right through the holes that would normally hold the outlet in and in our case, we can see a little bit, so we can line it up a little bit here. Get it kind of lined up. We'll get the screwdriver in there. And we're just going to line it up here, and we're going to start threading that in. And once we get it just in there a little bit, we're going to come over to the other side, and we're going to do the same thing. The screw's going to go through the cover plate and through the hole that holds the outlet in and it's going to go right into the box and again we can see ours if we pull it back a little bit all right so now we got them both started now we're just going to make sure that it's straight for aesthetics and we're going to tighten these screws up in here as tight as we can get them without cracking or breaking anything and we are going to compress that gasket and that foam against this J block or against another box or against whatever you're mounting it to. So it's either gonna be an exterior box or a J block with a box behind it, like in this instance. And you're just gonna tighten that up just like so. And as you can see, the foam has compressed and made a seal. Now we're just gonna make sure the box is straight, like so, and just snug it right up and we got ourselves a waterproof cover. Now the beauty about this is we have some knockouts in the bottom because when you're gonna run a cord, or for instance, this timer wants to get plugged in and you're gonna leave it plugged in, we're gonna do this and we're gonna take the knockout out and that's gonna allow, you just gotta be careful taking the knockout out like that. This is gonna allow us to take our cord. This one's a little, well, on the dirty side, it's in some mud. So what we're gonna do is allow us to take our cord and plug it in the GFI and run our cord down and still close the cover and be waterproof. So it's pretty simple. Anytime you're working on any electricity, make sure you shut the power off. If you need any help or assistance, give us a call.